This has been primed using mechanical standard grey, it's time to move into painting him all over with black templar. So we start as always loading our, our brush and going section by section. Apply this in the direction you want more paint to deposit, that is the area where you want your shadows to go. And be sure you have ended a whole section before moving on. And now I'm going to start highlighting all the armor. For this I'm using Thunderhawk Blue and I will just do an edge highlight all over. As always, for the rounded parts, I'm going to create a glaze using the same Thunderhawk blue, and I will just apply it here to create a spot highlight there. Our highlight of Thunderhawk blue is finished. Then I'm going to do the second edge highlight, this time using Fenrisian grey. The idea here is to do the same edge highlight, just taking a less area. As we did before in the rounded parts, we'll do a very small glazing to create a small highlight. Try to keep this inside our previous glazing of Thunderhawk Blue. Our highlight of Enrician Grey is now completed. I'm going to move into the last highlight. For this I'm using Blue Horror and what I will do is just small dots, the most prominent edges like in the middle of that spot highlight we leave in the rounded parts. Corners. You can see in this leg how I did all these spot highlights in line so it makes a effect of a reflection going on. Keep doing that around the model. <laughs> 